In this video, we're going to jump in and take a look at the Macabacus section of the ribbon. In the model section, right under formulas, there are some great tools. We're going to start first with a little discussion and demonstration of the error wrap. Let's dive in and take a look. What we're showing in the spreadsheet here is we have a total right across the bottom for four groups. And then we have below the amount of volume. So what we want to do is we want to divide the total by the amount of the volume. Now, in order to copy that across, we can use the Macabacus shortcut, Control shift r which is a fast fill right. And right away, we can spot the issue. In the last cell, we're dividing by zero, so we get a div zero error. Let's first investigate what we would do here if we didn't have Macabacus. We'll go back to the first cell. Hit F2 to hop in, and we can insert an if error function. What would that look like? So we could type if error, as soon as we see the function name come up, we can hit the tab key, and we want to say if there's an error in this particular formula, then we want the computer to insert something like NA. And we could close the double quotes, close the bracket, and hit enter. We'd then copy it across, Control shift r Now that solved the problem, but it involved a lot of keystrokes. Let's wipe this out and just start again. We're going to take the total and divide it by volume. Now let's look at how Macabacus can help. Next thing we need to do is copy across. So Control shift r gives us a fast fill right, and it brings back the original issue. This is where the Macabacus error wrap function is going to save us a ton of time. We're going to use the shortcut Control shift e Let's hit Control shift e and right away our problem solved. If we take a look in those cells, we can see that Macabacus has entered an if error function and put NA inside the cell for us. Another nice thing about error wrap, it acts as a toggle. So if we highlight these, we can hit Control shift e again, and it's been removed. Back to the original formula. Probably a great idea to make sure that we know exactly where these settings live. Let's go up to the Macabacus section of the ribbon, right here under Settings. We're going to click Configure, and then we go down the left-hand side to where it says Modeling. Let's click Modeling, and we can see right here, Error Wrap. And what it's doing is it's using this value, NA, when we put an error wrap on. We could also prompt for value. Let's click OK and see how that works. We're going to need to restart Office Applications. OK. So let's give this a quick test now that we're going to be prompted. We're going to highlight these cells again, Control shift e and it's prompting us for a value. Let's put in NA, lowercase, this time. Click the OK button, and Macabacus has inserted that for us. One of the great things about Macabacus is the amount of customization in the software. If we go back up to Settings and Configure, down the left-hand side again, we want to click Modeling. We're going to go back to Using a Value, so that we don't need to be prompted every time when we do the error wrap. Error wrap is just another great example of really innovative and useful keyboard shortcut that we find ourselves using constantly at CFI. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you soon in the next video.